Nefra Sweated Tan, and I am back with my natural hair, you all. I have finally did the big chop. Now, it is only day two of my natural journey, but you know, I am so glad I made the decision to go ahead and chop off the remaining relaxed ends. My experience at the salon, as you all saw from my Big Chop video, was a wonderful experience. I could not have envisioned it any other way at the salon. Now, I do have some things to share with you all about my experience and what I found out as I was getting the rest of my hair chopped, um, the relaxer chopped off. I did have a slight setback. Um, during my transition, I recall going to um, a couple of the Dominican hair salons. And, you know, if you're not too familiar with the Dominican hair salons, they use a lot of heat to achieve that really straight, thermal, straight hair. And, you know, I thought I was safe um, from getting any type of heat damage early on in my transition. But little did I know that... I did suffer a little bit of heat damage during my transition and it's mainly here at the front part of my hair where it is really really straight. Once the stylist went through and he actually um, was finished cutting off the rest of my relaxed ends, we kind of examined the front part of my hair together and I know that I did a couple heat styles during my transition but I did not know what the long-term effects was going to be early on and you know uh, that's why my hair is a little bit shorter than what it should be after 18 months of transitioning and I was kind of um, thrown at first by that that it was short and having to get used to the shorter hair because as you transition and you really don't have a good idea of how much hair you will have at the end because just your hair is different textures all the way throughout so when he was actually going through and he was talking with me about how much he was cutting I mean I was really in shock that I had some heat damage um, a little bit up front here which my texture up here is as you can see is a little bit straighter and not as um, coily as the, the rest but I'm going to pick it on up. Um, it's, it's been a learning experience, but now that I'm all natural, I will be staying away from heat um, for a very long time because, you know, I do feel like I was set back. But, you know, I'm happy now. I'm actually able to get through my hair without struggle. And that is the most freedom that you can just give yourself after doing the big child. So my suggestion to all of you transitioners out there, long-term transitioners especially, I would suggest not using a lot of heat during your transition. Use it to a minimum and also keep the heat setting very low. Because if you are transitioning for a long period of time, I'm assuming your goal is to have long natural hair because you're not used to having um, short hair such as myself. But just realize that if you do use the heat more often, you may have some um, thermal, actually thermal relaxed hair remaining in your head. And that just means that your hair has been heat altered, um, permanently heat altered, okay? So the best way to get rid of um, the heat damage is to basically transition again, okay? depending on where it in your hair is to short. It's, it's for me, like I said, it's up front. So my part up front, I'm able to camouflage that, thankfully, um, like I did today. So it's shorter up front for me, okay? It's like a uh, major big chop for me up front, about two inches of hair that he actually had to cut in addition to my um, natural hair. So just be prepared that if you do it yourself, um, you may or may not notice as much because I mean I thought that you know the front part of my hair here 
was my natural texture. I thought it was just a wavy texture, but when he actually was cutting down the relaxer, I was actually able to see it, okay? And all I gotta say is just be careful with the heat. Um, use it to your discretion and um, you'll be fine. But I am excited, you all. I am looking forward to this long journey of learning about my hair. But you know, being natural is something new. It's exciting. I'm glad I'm able to try um, pinning back my hair a little bit and it all looks like one texture without me having to put rolls in my head. So I am enjoying my newfound freedom. Look forward to sharing my experience with you all being completely natural. And you all have a blessed week. Bye-bye.